We all rely on global shipping for many of the things we buy. The story of how these products reach you involves a complex logistics network that stretches around the world. The system is built on cargo moved in containers. The Port of Tacoma and its marine cargo operating partner, the Northwest Seaport Alliance, plays a key role. When a ship arrives in Commencement Bay, tugboats bring it to one of the container terminals located at the port. Trans-Pacific ships carry thousands of these boxes. Though they carry different kinds of cargo and come in many colors, containers are standardized to be 8 feet wide and either 20 or 40 feet long. When the ship ties up, the offloading begins. Longshore workers remove the lashings that keep containers secure in ocean waves. Then, these giant cranes go to work. 180 feet above the dock, inside the crane cab suspended from a trolley, an operator moves along rails out the boom above the ship. The operator lowers a spreader that connects to four corners of the container. The crane lifts the container off the ship and onto the dock. Containers are stacked and moved around the terminal. Top picks grab a container from above. Operators of straddle carriers maneuver them carefully between stacks of containers and then lift containers onto empty chassis so they can leave the terminal by truck or train. All arriving containers are scanned for radiation and must be cleared by agents with U.S. Customs and Border Protection. Most of these containers are destined to go inland stacked on train cars, bringing goods to people across America. After Tacoma Rail moves containers within the tide flats, they leave on Union Pacific or Burlington Northern Santa Fe trains for long-haul trips. Cargo destined for local markets is trucked to warehouses for distribution and ultimately to your front door. The process of exporting cargo is reversed as containers are filled with products like Washington apples. Exports and imports rely on these containers and on the workers at the Port of Tacoma who move them efficiently to power our economy.